what's happening everybody this is Royce and Pedal Metal welcome back. today we're going to be taking a look at wave one of the team transport series from Hot Wheels car culture lineup and as we can see from the level go from left to right we have the first one is a Porsche 356 Speedster Volkswagen Transporter T1 pickup set the second one which is in the middle is the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX with the Sakura Sprinter not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly or not. And number three on the right side is the black and red 69 Nissan Skyline van carry-on. That sounds weird. Wouldn't that be two different things? Anyway, it just sounds weird, but I guess they mean the... Uh, anyway, we'll take a look at them and we'll show the packaging first. I think the artwork is great. It's uh, Julian Coils, I'm pretty sure. This is his artwork really really slick as usual and that's the peg warmer of the three unfortunately I'm not sure I quite understand that but that's uh, what's going on right now is that one and we have the Gretty themed one here which is awesome too orange and turquoise and I think it's black or dark purple. I'm not sure the third stripe, the colors, but the artwork is just fabulous on these. And I'll take a look here at the back of the pack and we'll see here. I don't think there's anything really special about the backs of the pack, but in case you haven't seen them in your store, that's what the, you can expect. So we're going to go ahead here and take a look at them. I do have an extra one of this that I found. That, or it's the one in the middle. Actually, the pack is beat up. So I'm going to open that one up here if I can find it. I think it's off to the side here. And then we'll put each one up on the turntable and we'll take a look at them. I think I like the artwork so much. I'm going to actually cut each of these open with a knife because I want to keep the cards nice on them. I like the artwork that much. Let me grab my knife. And the key is not to cut yourself doing this. Yeah, I love the, I just love that artwork. That one is just freaking awesome. That might be my favorite of the three. And like I said, the, the odd thing is, I'm not sure why this is the peg warmer, because you're getting two brand new rims as well. Two new styles of wheels, and we'll check them out. We'll set that one off to the side and get cracking, slicing some more open. got some weight to it this one that's for sure this pack that was my favorite one originally like I said there's the artwork is very very cool I was kind of hoping to do a martini theme with that one and this is the only one I could find in the black and red actually I had to buy the first set I had to pay a huge amount of money for them off of eBay just to bring these reviews to you guys but now of course these are showing up in the store but the black and red one I think I would have to say is probably the most popular one that I found so far there's the artwork a little closer shot of the artwork and we'll go ahead here and we'll put them all up on the turntable and geek out on them and take a look And here it is, set number one, the new Porsche 356 Speedster on top of a Volkswagen T1 Transporter. And like I said earlier, they are 
uh, should say this is the peg warmer of the set. Unfortunately, I don't quite understand that, but okay. And the cool thing about this set is you're getting two new wheel designs. Uh, both are 1552 wheels. The bottom, I believe, are on the T1 are called Turbo Mac, and the ones on the top are the Outlaw ones that were uh, designed in, in, in uh, what do you want to say, in, uh, I just lost my train of thought, but they were designed alongside with Magnus Walker, and uh, they got his blessing or whatever to do the that wheel choice and he has them on his uh, 924 Carrera GT and a bunch of other cars in his collection but that's the wheels that's basically on the 356 there the bottom on the Turbo Max I believe are supposed to be three-piece wheels and we're gonna take a look here close at them because I think it's worthwhile that you guys who haven't seen one of these up close uh, you may or may not like them appreciate but I think that's the um, the big deal is the, the wheels on these. I know everybody's going to be stealing the wheels off of them. This is pretty heavy. It's all metal, of course, and being a car culture vehicle, it's really well done. All the tampos are nicely done. I love how they actually have on the back here on the platform is one large tampo. It's gonna be hard to see that, but you can probably see the darker gray, and then there's black outlines. That's a tampo. If I think I just kicked the tripod, I'm sorry about that, if I did. And it's kinda of hard to, to maneuver that down the ramp. Um, and of course we have Magnus Walker's logo on everything. I don't really care a whole lot for the logos, only got the 1552 logo and uh, we have the Magnus Walker logo 1552 has really taken off uh, I remember when they would show up at Volkswagen shows years ago Brad the one owner would bring his uh, purple GTI to the shows and it's really his company has really grown so here's your second wheel I'm sure guys are gonna be swiping the wheels off they were pretty much a play on the Fuchs wheels, the Porsche 911 wheels, but they have more like an open spoke. The Tampos are just great on these. I mean, all these look, this just looks fabulous out of the pack. Really cool, but in my opinion, the 356 doesn't really fit this vehicle very well and I'll show you I just think it's too big for this here's what I would have done if, it, if I was in charge at Hot Wheels I would have ditched the 356 brought back the 550 Spider and BAM there you go does that perfectly fit or what and this is a detailed one that I had done years ago but doesn't that look beautiful on there? You could even go with blue spears on the back of it. That would just look freaking awesome. And it just looks so cool stored on top of there. And I think the scales, I think that just fits the uh, transport a little bit better than the 356. Looks immense next to it. Absolutely immense. So that's my two cents on what I would have done if I was with Mattel. I would have suggested right away ditch the 356. I think it's a hog on the back there compared to the 550 Spider. But I don't work there. So, you know, it's not going to happen. But anyway, there you go. So, boo, boo. So we take the 550 away. And we'll move on to the next one. But very, very cool, though. Oh, as I forgot to mention earlier, uh, for people that aren't in the know, uh, the Car Culture Series, they're all 100% uh, metal. It's quote-unquote 100% with they have the metal base and the metal body, and then they feature their, feature their real riders' uh, rubber tires. So that's why you pay more. And people don't quite understand that when you see them in the stores. 
people are like, what in the world? I'd never pay, you know, twelve ninety nine for these two here. But you're getting a lot, I think, for $13, um, I think. So anyway, we'll move on to the next one. And here we go, number set number two, which is Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX with a Sakura Sprinter box truck. Awesome, awesome set. And like I said earlier, I believe this is probably the second of everybody's favorite, or it could be the top, I don't know. Um, but according to Instagram, I would say the black and red set is selling probably is probably the favorite of everyone's, but I don't know this. Maybe it's this one. You can't tell. It's hard to tell nowadays with these, with everybody on Instagram, you know, with the scalpers and everyone's going after. I just normally buy what I like personally. I don't, you know, and that's hopefully what you guys do too. All right, so we'll take a closer look here at them. As there's a big clump of dust hair on top of there. <laughs> this is awesome i love the tampos on an angle looks just wicked and the stripes are just great on this and once again as i stated before on these there's special attention to the paint and if you ask me they almost look clear coated over top of the tampos and i i'm still sticking with that because it's sure I wish I could, yeah, I could wish I could talk to somebody at Mattel, but I it sure looks like they're clear coated to me. Once again, excuse me, we get the four spoke wheels, tiny rubber band tires, all metal vehicle. It's so cool. That that is just awesome. Uh, this truck in particular is what I when I saw the the spy photos and whatnot and the teasers a long time ago. I wanted one of these to do a Martini Racing uh, Porsche truck. That was, we'll move this guy out of the way. That was kind of like my goal with this. What, but, and maybe since I do have a second one, maybe I will do that for a video. Uh, the back is not easy to open on this. You pull it, even though it shows double doors, which is kind of silly. It, hinges downwards which is kind of stupid but it was kind of hard this is plastic by the way the box part of it because i know some of you guys may not have seen these yet but it does fit in there pretty nicely but i don't know i can picture this with uh doing up as a porsche martini racing set though the livery i think would be really cool to see that done and i don't think it would be that hard to to do one of these let me get this out of the way again i'm gonna take out the cab a little closer the tampos and all the paintwork is just phenomenal on these i love the lip it's got like a spoiler dip down in the front here and there's detail work on the the front end there it's probably gonna be hard to see that but really really nice I'm not sure if these are new or old to wheels I think they're almost look like torque thrust style gasser wheels on it I'll have to look closer than at that but does it does have an all metal base plastic fuel tanks. I don't know what that explosion was outside the window. That was pretty loud. You guys might have heard that on film. Boy, I don't know what that was. Maybe a gunshot. That was pretty loud. Uh, anyway, so we'll move on to the next one here. We'll go to number three. This is, of course, number three out of the set of three of the first wave. This is the 69 Nissan Skyline. Now, they call it a van. I call it a wagon, but and then the truck is called a carry-on and that is trademarked from Mattel so I'm sure you're gonna see this carry-on more often than uh, you know I, well, I know it's in the next set the next wave look at that isn't that pretty though the black and the red it 
Very cool. Very, very cool. We've been waiting a while for this set to come out and I don't think it disappointed anybody. I haven't heard any negative comments from everything I've seen online. I haven't seen really anything negative about them except for maybe some people complaining about the uh, $12.99 price tag. Now when I ordered the set of three off of eBay a while back, um, I'm not going to lie, I paid way, way too much money for the three and then uh, of course I found all except this set in the store like a week later after I got them off of eBay so that you know you live and learn but oh well the wagon is all coarse metal four spoke wheels once again Advan graphics on it red interior really nice we'll take a look at the truck this bed I was thinking maybe slid down but I don't I don't don't think it does anything that is all plastic with a does have a metal base and the cab is of course metal I love the all the lights, the grill work, everything looks just phenomenal in this thing for our Hot Wheels. Now we have Stowey, some cabinets in the back, but they don't open up on the sides. We'll bring in the last release. Um, the first time we had seen it, the green 69 van as they call it which I had never noticed that before believe it or not until today I don't know if it's they at the, the cutouts like it's supposed to be way in the back here but I guess that's too close to the cab when you have it that way I don't know it's kind of odd the way it sits on here but I guess it was the same wheel choice and everything from the last rendition that we had seen when it was first uh, released in the hauler series or whatever it was called, I forget. So anyway, we'll get back to this. Cargo carriers, that's what it was. Seems odd to me, I don't know, this seems like it's, I guess that's the way it goes, it just seems like it's fitting back so far, but. So there you go. That is the last of the three. So thanks for checking them out, and I'll have some shots of all three together, spinning around and in all their glory. If you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up and or share, and uh, please be sure to watch the ads in the beginning of my videos as well. It's the only kind of revenue I get from these doing this, and it takes a lot of time to put these videos together and edit them and whatnot. It's a, it's a lot of work, and. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and make sure you hit the bell. That will give you the notifications of any new videos I have. I have detailing videos and I also have new, you know, new toy reviews as well as some other stuff. And then I also have some other channels that are listed down below. There should be some links there. So thanks everybody. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. All right, bye now.